Hey fellas, glad to see you today and um, happy uh, Valentine's Day. You know, I haven't uh, actually taped the video out for like a, I mean, like a, a few weeks. So like here I am now, and I'm excited to you know post another video. <clears throat> you know, a bit has changed. Uh, you know, I finally got that lava lamp I always wanted. Look at that baby. Look at that. Look, look at her just uh, you know, do her thing. And, um, apparently, uh, my fire alarm, well, my smoke, smoke detector actually came back on at all, out of the blue. So, you know, there's that now. So we also have that. That's also new. But, uh, I wanted to talk, talk about, like, a few things for a bit. I guess, uh, hmm. Um, yeah. I wanted to talk about a few things as well as, like, you know, just wish you a happy valentine's day um by the way this is my sketchbook i actually got into the mood of like you know just wanted to show you guys like like some things so like uh this page i was actually practicing shading you know um <clears throat> it goes like that little it's like i was practicing yeah i was practice, practicing a lot of shading as you can tell with like you know um dark to light to like you know dark again you know you got the the you know spear. You know you got cast casting shadow. I hope I'm saying this correctly. Please, uh, if I'm not, you know, please correct me in the comments. But there you go. There's a lot of practice sh shading practice. I'm actually trying to get into anatomy, so you know I was practicing. Like I was actually watching a few videos trying to practice my anatomy. I was really proud of this one because, like, I swear I always try to get like you know. A drawing to have this type of look where like you have the full body but it's like a certain look of it it just looks together you know what I mean it's like I always pine for that like full anatomy type of effect when it comes to a character and I feel like I can never really achieve that by myself especially if I try to do it in my head so like this page is like a whole spew of things um so this is my brother's bird Kwai and so, like, you know, he's just a budgie, uh, you know, uh, he has a special mutation. So, like, instead of being the typical green, yellow, bluish, he's white and blue. And, um, <laughs> geez, my English, my, my accents aren't going all over the place. I typically, I typically speak proper, but everything just tends to fall all apart sometimes. But then I was also practicing here, um, you know, my anatomy. This is a budgie's heart. I was like, I was looking, I was also looking at like, you know, the internal body parts of budgie, and also like this is like him again, but like kind of imagine him flying. And uh, for you guys out there who like Sonic, it goes my version of Sonic. He looks like a a fucking asshole without without having any of his coffee. So there you go. Um, let's see here. Also have like another. Another page like going over anatomy and uh, with me when it comes to anatomy oh let me close up I'll zoom in into that uh, zoom in into that excuse my English so uh, I believe it's like I was actually watching a video for this so, like that's why it came out as good as it did I feel like I always struggle when it comes to like human faces so like you know um, let me pull the book up ah shit oh there you go. So, you know, as you can see, the human face uh, looks okay. They both look okay, but uh, they could totally be better. Like, I mean, I've always kind of just been slacking off when it comes to human faces. And I really do want to, you know, push myself to at least be more consistent. But there you go. Um, I think this page is okay. I just wish I did the bodies better because, like, man, this... It kind of, you know what I mean? It's it's like you have the chest going in, then like you have the body just like breaking itself to like look like that. It's like I should have curved the body in, I guess. It's like I'm not too sure. It's like I know what I was trying to go for, but like it just looks really weird. But I think I did a decent job at it. Um, this page I was just writing like art fundamentals um understanding uh of light and form observation drawing skills 
composition, color theory, good figure drawing skills. And uh, I also, oh shit, my bad. Um, geez, I need to really buy a better camera. I use my, I usually use my phone to like, you know, uh, oh my god, almost dropped. But I usually use my phone to actually, actually record. But sorry about that. So, this is what I wrote. Um, when, when uh, we see evidence that a person has some form, form of understanding of the fundamentals of art, we can tell that they would be able to solve any difficult creative challenges which may arise. <clears throat> so, I basically wrote that because, like, I could use that as a form of motivation, but why I really wrote it is because, like, I feel like, uh, in a sense, I always thought, I never really thought too much about art, like, for me, and especially me, I never really thought I could really go that far, or, like, you know, be able to, like, you know, have people really appreciate my art, but, you know, having a quote like this is important because, like, it shows me that, like, you know, what if someone, like, asks me to, like, draw something for them or, like, do this or do that? I mean, I'll be solving a problem by using, like, my own skills and my own thoughts to at least try and get to the closest uh, thing that they believe uh, may be the thing that may be in their head. I hope that makes sense. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the uh, noise in the background, too. Bar alarms are shit. So, um, the other day, well, a few days, well, I think, like, a week or two ago, I was practicing on, like, human faces, and, like, you know, there, I got this, and, like, uh, I was also trying to practice shading, and, um, um, that's just what I got, and, you know, as you can tell, there's some cross-hatching, there's some general, general shading here and there, um, I didn't go too dark, <clears throat> I didn't really too, I feel too comfortable about it. But, you know, I try my best, but I feel like I should have at least did the hair. I should have, uh, I should have saw what I could really do. I think the eyebrows could have been better because, uh, the, you could, you could tell, you could tell the lines. It's not really smooth. It's like, I kind of just like, it's like, I just went hard on like a few places. And then on, on the bottom right here, I just did some exercises. Shading, you know, when it comes to perspective, I, I did like a, a good fucking job. I did a decent job, <clears throat> but I could definitely get better. I just need to keep a hard, like not even, like all like a like a constant mindset. I should also have a goal. It's good to be goal oriented, so like you'll know, so you'll feel like you'll, so you'll believe. So you'll know where you want to go. It's always good to have a goal mindset so you'll know where you want to go. As an artist, wherever you want to do in life. But basically, I was trying to practice anatomy. I was doing figure drawing as well. I was trying to do this from a picture. And I was trying to, uh, the body on top, I was trying to do that from my head. Did a decent job. Um, I, that's a drawing of my lava lamp. I hope you like it. <laughs> trying to do a drawing um that character under the guy's leg is uh called striker boy it's not my character but it's a character from the game uh badland brawl but that's my interpretation of him i like it <coughs> but you know uh billy from the event the misadventures of billy and mandy and there's a couple other drawings oh man <coughs> excuse me Let's see here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I fucking love bugs. I, I just do. They're 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 the most uh they're the most interesting motherfuckers to draw. Like it's it's like they're so simple. Like uh when it comes to a bug, it can either be in like you can you can either you can draw a bug like you can like break it down to the most simplest form. So like maybe a cock a cockroach would be like a oval. Or let's say something a lot more, a lot more structured. Um, hmm. Yeah, something a lot more structured. So like, let's say like possibly like a, you know, a rectangle, rectangle or oval. 
But I say like a, a good thing, a good, I mean, the simplest way of drawing a cockroach could be, it, no, it, it is a, it is an oval. It's an oval, no way. I'm not going to mind fuck myself. But I don't know. <laughs> I never tried that yet. But um, I drew an old man, as you can see right there. He's right, he's right over where the ladybug is. And there goes the ladybug as well. Um, you know, I tried to write down his anatomy. I'm so, it's like, I believe the, for me, I believe the most cultural way of just like knowing what to, you know, what you're drawing is like to understand that. And like, at least know what the anatomy is for a certain thing. So let's say a ladybug has the, uh, oh my God. So, <laughs> Okay, so like that thing right here, that's a tenny, a tenny, and you know clearly that black part right there's the eye, and you know that thing, that 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 funky little circle right there is the head, and um, you know that little circle that's attached that holds the head together is the pronotum, uh, that's a spot, and I guess this part the the wings, like the wing covering, yes, the wing covering. I believe that's a fly truck. Please, just just look this information for yourself. I don't, I don't want to fuck you, fuck your minds up. But as we continue over here, I drew plenty more ladybugs. I really loved messing with the legs, as you can see. It looks like r ropey shit, you know, just dangling shit from an asshole. But um. I just, I, I love this drawing, um, most importantly. Uh, I feel like that's something I like to do, just to draw as loose as possible. I just like it a lot. I also like this one. I don't really like this one. I just don't like the legs. They don't, they, they don't do it in for me. Um, as we go down, I drew a nose. I drew a pair of lips. I believe I was also drawing a centipede right here. I believe so. I know it can't be a centipede. I, I can't. I can't believe it. <sighs> My God, I was almost done. It's getting too long. But as you can see here, I'm a big fan of Friday Night Funkin'. I want to play the game, but damn it, I don't want to play on my personal computer because, like, uh, I just, I don't know. I just don't want to get any viruses or anything. And like, I just don't want any of that jazz on my computer. So like, I just want to get another computer. Hopefully I can fix one up, get it working, and then I'll be able to play it, but I really want to play it. I drew um, the boyfriend. For some reason, the fans like to call him Keith, but like, you know, uh, canonically, he has no name. His name's just a boyfriend. That's Pico. Pico was one of the, uh, he was one of the mascots of the Newgrounds back in the day, but he was kind of, he was phased out. Um, another picture, the boyfriend. This is a M sixteen A four. M sixteen A four. Yes, M sixteen A four. Uh, decided to draw this because I just wanted to get rough last night. So, a lot of anatomy going on here. I was drawing my band right there, but that's my art style right there. Something like that. I feel like my art style could be better. It will develop soon, but there it goes. But. Just trying to draw another thing there. Oh my god, this freaking phone. Just trying to do a lot of rough sketching when it comes to like having like figure references and everything. So I did that. But um this is what I basically wanted to show you what I've been up to. It's like when it comes to me, um I've been trying to draw, get better. There are some other things like exercise and everything, but um, yeah, there you go. Uh, but I hope to keep on making video videos for you guys soon. And you know, one of my statements for, I guess, like my reasons for this channel is because, like, um, honestly, what convinced me to start this channel is because, like, okay, I have to tell you another video, but like. I'll write that down even. I'll write that down so I don't look dumb as shit. Oh man. Okay. Oh. Okay, this this is my personal journal. But um 
I usually write some of my ideas at the I actually put these ideas into fruition. But yeah, um I want to I want this it's like my reason I started this, uh, this channel was because like hey, um is I, I wanna do something with my life, you know? Because like most days I feel like I'm not really doing too much. Uh, like for a couple of years now, and especially when I was younger, I'd just been fucking around, just trying to get some pussy and, you know, lose my virginity. But hey, that that's going to take a while. So I was like, you know, let me just focus on myself. Let me do the things that I like. But then, you know, I went to a hospital. Then I got into the emergency room because like of some shit, some personal shit I want to put in another video. So uh, I got a bill to pay and everything. I was like, you know... I want to have like another source of income and everything like that so you know uh, I wouldn't say it's the most passionate thing I'm not gonna I don't want to lie to you guys like be like uh, I, I want be, I want to make videos like I do want to make videos but like what I'm trying to say is like there isn't just one reason there's like multiple reasons why I want to like do YouTube and everything but I want to I want to define who I really am on this platform. I want to uh, be able to pay some things off, like especially like my loans back to a hospital. I want to be able to like to see what I can do with art, see how good I can get, and um, I just want to do plenty of things. I want to see where my life goes if I truly decide to pursue YouTube. I want to see how I'm able to change my life. I want to see how YouTube changes my life and. You know, if that does ever happen, um, you know, I'll surely uh, tell you, I'll, I'll surely, uh, if that does ever happen, then, you know, then I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll do my best for you guys, but here, ah, shit, I keep forgetting, man, like, I don't think at all, but, uh, I know I basically told you guys, like, the hospitals, I don't, I don't need to write down that shit, but hey, you guys stay cool, and you guys have a good Valentine's. Peace.